First of all, okay, I'd like to point out how much potential my intro has. Okay, I'm not even going to do it. I'm going to tell you how much potential it has, alright? Because it's pretty much wasted on me. L listen to it, listen to it. Hi, oh, it's Payless Blue, but you guys can call me Harry. Right, that's not very interesting, okay? I mean, it's not very interesting, right? Imagine the potential, though. Take, for example, Hi, oh, it's XX, no scopes XX, but you guys can call me Fred. Exactly, I mean, think if Fred had used my intro, if he created that intro, he would be world renowned, he would be famous. That's what I'm saying. Alright, hi all, it's Painless Blue, but you guys can call me Harry, and today I'm going to have a chat to you guys about um, an MLG, well, an aspect to do with the MLG event, um, kind of a game that you can play during an MLG event that's coming up. Quick explanation, if you're not aware, MLG is Major League Gaming, um, that's where sort of the organization to which most of the professional um, players are obliged contractually and all of these professional players, the very top Call of Duty players in the world will all be going um, between the June the 3rd and the 5th um, to Columbus in the United States. Some of you may even be going and yeah, what a great experience that would be. And they're all going to face off against each other. And well, what, what MLG do is they, they live stream the event on, um, on their website so you can actually watch the action as it goes down and they put commentators on there. Um, and they've got, you know, um, their previous live streams, uh, such as the one they had in Dallas last year. In fact, they had one in Dallas this year as well. And, um, I mean, they have Dallas every year, I think. But they had, yeah, Dallas Dallas 2011 they had. And they had some awful commentators on there, some awful commentators. And kind of from that experience of sitting there, you know, a frustrated Call of Duty player, listening to, uh, I don't know, commentators who didn't really know what they were talking about. It was sort of frustrating and amusing just to kind of... And plenty of hilarity ensued, so I thought I'd kind of pass on the hilarity and create a drinking game, a Call of Duty commentator drinking game at Columbus, okay? So, some of you might be aware that Holiday Doc is going to be commentating for the MLG scene in Columbus, and actually he's quite a good commentator. But I guarantee you they'll throw in some of these absolute commentary newbies, and it'll be fantastic, because I'll make some howling errors, and you'll be able to play this game. So what you've got to do to play this game is you've got to get a group of friends, that's the first thing you've got to do. You've got to do that before June the 3rd, so I'd get cracking, okay? Group of friends, preferably four or more, you, preferably an even number as well, because you'll, you'll see at some point how that works. And you need to sit around a table and watch Columbus. I mean, I'm sure you'd do that anyway. You need to watch a Columbus live stream. When the Call of Duty comes on, turn up your volume, listen to the commentary, okay? Sometimes they have the commentators on the screen. And then what you've got to do is you've got to pour yourselves all an alcoholic beverage, and I'm not advocating binge drinking. Yes, okay. Um... So, gather around the screen, turn up your volume, and you're going to play with all your friends. You've got to have lots of alcohol, got to have lots of different types of alcohol. Preferably go to a bar even and do it, because that's quite cool. Um, listen to MLG Columbus, and uh, play this game. Okay, so it's, so it's the Co Columbus Commentator Call of Duty um, drinking game. Okay, the first rule, or no, not, yeah, the first rule. It's quite, uh, it's quite a tradition in the MLG Commentator scene that at some point in the live stream they confuse a flag with a bomb and a bomb with a flag. For whatever reason they'll call a bomb a flag and a flag a bomb. Um, so in honour of this tradition, at the beginning of every capture the flag, everyone must buy a Jaeger bomb. Flag, Jaeger bomb, get it? And whenever a flag is capped you've got to take a big sip. Um, and if the commentator actually, and it's going to happen at some point guys, if the commentator actually confuses the flag for the bomb, you've got to down it. You've got to down the whole beverage. Um, I'd just like to say this this is one of my favourite moments actually when they commentate uh, they, they confuse flags for bombs because you end up with some fantastic phrases such as they've returned to the bomb, you know, as if you'd really return a bomb to someone who's trying to blow you up essentially. Or they've diffused the flag because flags really need diffusing. Rule two every time a commentator mentions or sips on camera a Dr. Pepper during the live stream, everyone must order a Dr. Pepper, you know, mix some alcohol in, the, in with it and down it. Um, if if you're looking to play this on one of the pre-record um, one of the recorded um, live streams, I recommend COD4 Anaheim because they they were thirsty that day. That's what I'm going to say. They drank a lot of Dr Pepper. They crowbarred it in a lot. In fact, not just Dr Pepper. Any of their sponsors do that. The third one. Every time they get a prediction completely wrong, I'm not just talking about slightly wrong. I'm not just saying they predict that Envy will win Capture the Flag Summit 4-1 and they win it 3-1. I'm talking about completely wrong as regularly happens. Um, I'll give an example. In the Dallas 2011 livestream, one of the commentators said, 
Um, the Optic, they, they, they predicted the Optic would win S&D Grid against Leverage 4-0. Optic lost S&D le- uh, Grid to Leverage 4-0. That's what I'm talking about. Every time that happens, you've got to swap drinks with the person situated directly opposite you and take a big sip of their drink. Every time, this is, a, this is the fourth one, I think. This is the fourth one, yep. Every time they try to explain Call of Duty in terms of Halo, and especially this happens in Capture the Flag because it's kind of a mutual game mode, everybody has to perform a Halo jump in real life. Uh, and the last person to Halo jump has to down his or her drink. So preferably you'd be situated somewhere near a corner, in the house, in the bar, wherever. Halo jump around the corner, last person to do it has to down the drink. Number five. Every time a commentator alludes to the sheer number of Optic fans attending the event, or you can actually hear them in the background, everyone has to do a 360 on the chair while drinking his or her drink. If you can no-scope the drink into your mouth, extra points, well done you. And the last one. Every time Capture the Flag is tied, and the commentators don't know the om- overtime rules, and you'll be surprised how often this has happened. This has happened the last like three or four MLG live streams I've listened to. They actually, they actually have no idea what's going on in overtime. In that time between overtime um, starting and them actually working out what's going on, you have to continually um, sip your drink, um, continuously sip, dr- sip your drink, until the commentators eventually figure it out. So that's your drinking game for uh, MLG Columbus. I hope you take part in the drinking game, but even if you can't do that, obviously I don't, you know, advocate drinking to anyone who's uh, not legally allowed. But you know, just enjoy it with some orange juice or something. But you know, ser- on a more serious note, if you are really interested in um, seeing some good gameplay, then I really recommend watching the MLG streams. I'll definitely link them in the description, uh, so you can have a look. You see, you know, it gives you a bit more perspective on what the real, um, the best players do, uh, how they play the game, because. Uh, in, you know, until you start looking at really the, the the top players playing in the top teams and appreciate the teamwork going on, it's very hard to see, you know, to to get a perspective of just how intense the game can be played. Um, kind of the the public game is watered down quite significantly, I think, with um, a lot of the kill streaks when it's just raw gun skill, kind of on raw gun skill and and tactics and communication, kind of team chemistry. When all those things are put together and focused without all these kind of external kind of influences such as the kill streaks. Then it, the game really is at its finest, and I highly suggest that you all go and have a watch of MLG Columbus 3rd to the 5th, and the website is going to be in the description as well. So, hope you guys enjoyed that. Hope you guys enjoy the game, and I've got lots of commentaries to come, and I'll see you later. We're being dominated. Take those positions. Good work.